Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and I've got a quick little tip for all of the new Ubuntu users. I'm going to show you how to pick the best download mirror so that you can speed up your Ubuntu updates. Um, and this is going to work on not just regular Ubuntu, but all of the official derivatives. So Ubuntu GNOME, Lubuntu, that sort of thing. It's going to work there. And a lot of the uh, Ubuntu based distributions. This is going to work the same there. Linux Mint, the it's going to uh, it's going to work there. Although they have uh, they've essentially built it into their uh, into their package manager. But anyway, let's let's take a look at what we got here. Let's go to our software and updates. And here on the front page of software and updates, you see it where it says Ubuntu software. If you come down to where it says download from now by default if you're in the US it's going to by default pick the server for the United States so let's go and click that and go to other and then it gives you a list of all of the all of the uh, download servers available and just click select best service and it will run a series of, of ping tests and it'll find you know what's the best mirror for you now it's basing all of this on um, you know download speed so it's not necessarily going to be the best server it's going to tell you what the fastest server is uh, you're this little test here is not going to tell you whether they've got corrupted packages or anything like that you're just going to kind of have to find out you know whether uh, you know this is really a good download mirror okay so the testing is done and you know I know f just from experience my location uh, this particular mirror I always get good downloads from it never have any issues or crashes anything like that so that's you know the fastest one I'm gonna choose that click choose server you're gonna want to put in your password and boom it has now selected that that server for where it downloads its updates so click close it will want to go and and uh, you see you get this little message here this information the information available software is out of date um, you're going to have to go and reload the cache it'll do that from the new server and boom you're ready to go you're ready to you know download packages or run an update whatever you need to do well that about finishes this video up hopefully it helped you out a little bit as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below and i will try to get to them as soon as possible if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and i hope to see you all on my next video thanks a lot